Welcome to Road to Glory Youth Edition Career Mode with All Limit Athletics. Welcome to episode 28. We are in season 2. We're getting close to the end of season 2 actually. And we're going to play the first game of this episode. We're playing Oxford United. We're playing at the Boundary Park and it's the semi-final of the Papa Jones Trophy. We will go with our blue kits and we're playing Oxford Jets. They are playing in yellow, and um, we we are going with our well, not the second team. We're, we're going with the rotation squad. Um, they have played in tight tournament so far, and let's see if they can push through to the final. Come on, boys! The man to watch. The emphasis on youth. A huge moment for the lad who gets the nod in the starting eleven, and we have it live on EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and joining me here on the commentary box for complete coverage is Lee Dixon. And only four teams are left in this cup competition. We're at the semi-final stage. It's Oldham Athletic and they face Oxford United. Well, they say the semi-final's a brilliant game to win because it gives you that gold dust of a final round the corner. But I tell you what, having lost one, it's a horrible place to lose. So they'll be a bit nervous out there, the players right now. Looking forward to this one. And the match begins. Sykes. He has time to play it over. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, the goalkeeper has earned his corn there. A fabulous save. Sykes. Brannigan. And a throw-in it's going to be. Foul there. Free kick awarded. And fired from the flank into the area. The goal appeared to be... Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And teammates to play it to. Throw-ins given. Now what on earth happened there? Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they forge ahead? And there it is! The first goal in the semi-final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes! The opening goal of the game then. It looks promising. Options at the back post here. And a goal! They've extended the lead. Well, plenty of time remaining. This is far from over. But they're well on course for a place in the final. Let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, a second goal for them here. A chance to whip it in. Well read to ease the pressure. Good pressure high up the pitch. 
Can he get one back? He can! He's given his team a real opportunity, and momentum is with them. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. This juncture. Crossing possibilities. And firing it to the near post. Well, that... And showing fine vision. And just look at these fans. They now believe that a trip to the final is theirs. That's with the delivery into the box, just begging for someone to get on the end of it. And then just look at the finish. Reads the flight. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. Thought, you know what, I'm just going to have a go. And it is official, the hosts are going to the... Did everything right, absolutely, 9 out of 10. So, we managed to push through to the final, 3 goes to 1 at the Boundary Park versus Oxford United, which is, that's, yeah, I'm happy about that, that's a beautiful win. Uh, we could see that Reynolds scored twice, and if you can see here, we had 4 shots, 3 landed on target, we scored 3 goals, so... Let's let's just be happy. Um, you can see that the rating that Reynolds got a 9.4, uh, Wang had an 8.0, and uh, well, the entire team played well. The rotation squad have been they've been playing really well in this tournament, and that's also why they have played all the games so far. Um, don't know how to do in the final. Uh, I might want to go for a silver, and, and we'll see. Maybe I can make some mix of the rotation squad or not. Well, we'll see. I haven't decided yet. I'm just happy that we actually reached the final. That means we can get two silverwares this season. We can get the Papa Jones trophy. We can get um, the league title. So we can lift two silverwares. Let's go for that, definitely. We also have received an offer for Porter. He haven't played for a while because he, he doesn't have it. You know, he's not good enough. So I accepted that. We'll see if, if we can sell him. Um, and then we're going to focus on the second game of this episode. We're going to play Barrow away. It's a tough game. They, even though they are, they are sitting 13th and we are sitting first. Um, we're looking good. Let's have a look at the league table. Uh, you can see that um, we have a huge gap. We have 84 points. And, and they are down on 13th. So they are far behind it. But... Second, Rockdale, they have 68, and then Salford has 66. So we, we have a brilliant lead. We can't bottle this. Well, we can, but no, we, we, we probably can't. Not even I can do that. Anyway, we're going with a beautiful away kit, so the red and white stripes. Um, we play in the first team, and uh, I have a good feeling. Um, we hopefully can get at least a point... Or actually, if, if we win, we might even start, you know, we might get the title in advance. Come on, boys, let's go. Well, most of the fans in attendance here have had to bring their umbrellas and wear their raincoats. It's a soggy day for this match. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And League Two action is what's on the menu coming up live. Lee, this ought to be special. Yeah, really looking forward to this one, Derek. Excite me. Come on, let's see some entertainment. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the contest begins. Well, visionary passing, can he take the chance? And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see, the ideal way to begin. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Well, there's been a goal. Losing possession, this could be the equaliser. 
a chance to level the game. Crossing possibilities. And he's broken free. Well, the pass got in the way. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Oh, it might be. Couldn't grab hold of it. Less than convincing defending. And he's made headway. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day. It's superb scoring for him. It's going their way. 2-0. The hosts have had the lion's share of possession, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the wide areas more. One minute's played, 1-1. One, one. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Not a fantastic piece of... He's in here. And there it is! Another goal! And surely there's no way back from this now. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going. Quintero. Good use of advantage by the referee. Thumps clear. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. And there it is, a goal! But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. Brough. Jones. In a position from which they could potentially... And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top lead. Well, Derek, as we said, this team love a goal fest. And they certainly know where the target is. Lovely, lively build-up and a real sharp cutting edge to this lot. Great entertainment, really enjoyable. We get a beautiful and important win, three goals to one, and we could see that Parsons scored a goal for Barrow. He played for us, um, but we sold him to, to just Barrow. And um, he scored, of course, against us, saying thank you for, for selling me. But we are extremely happy with this win. Um, you can see that both Drake and Pratt is an 8.5, and they were the best with that. Saunders has a 7.5, which is... He is, he's been amazing though, I mean, yeah, we have quite a few players in this team that uh, I can, I can easily see that they were going to remain in our squad until the end of this uh, series, unless they get bought from the, you know, top clubs in Europe, but yeah, that, that was a win that we, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we actually are going to see the, the whole, um, animation before the games that if we win today we can actually get the league title and blah 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 because the gap that we have is that's it's it's huge and uh, we played 38 games we have 87 points we have 16 points ahead of of the second team and then they they had a game in advance so rock day had played one more game than us so <sighs> yeah this is this is good and uh, we're gonna play Exeter, uh, or Exeter, sorry, and we're playing them away. We will see if we can actually get three more points. Um, but I think we can actually secure the league title if we win today and, and the other results go our way, but I'm, I'm not sure. I have to, to calculate a little and I haven't done that yet. 
I haven't really thought about it, but we're playing the rotation squad, giving them some more games. Come on, boys, let's go. Today might just be the day. If results go their way, they could be crowned champions. Action coming up live. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football, perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray, with me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And today could be a memorable day for the visitors, an opportunity for them to clinch the league title. It's Exeter City and they face Oldham Athletic. Well, the travelling fans, Derek, are making themselves heard and why not? The title is there, it's touchable, they can see it almost into the lion's den to win it, no better place. And they kick off here. Now oh, that's a super ball over the top. Oh, he's through here. Must be. One nil then. If there's John Scott in the stadium, can you please? It's a weighted pass. And played towards the near post. And cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick. Over it comes. I must admit, I thought he was good. The visitors haven't had too much of the ball. But again, we've seen it before. We'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. Chance to cross. Williams. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. And the emphasis is on creativity. As a go! And he's got him scored to level us again! A lovely finish. Well, the earlier goal cancelled that profit from the wide position. Gives it a go. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Well, a chance to take the lead. It really is. The crowd sends a goal. Played into the centre of the box. Really good high press. Not an especially strong challenge. And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think, and the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong. Told the player exactly what he was thinking. And all number one is hit the target. The keeper saves it fine, but do not hit it off target. And running it back. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Two minutes. Wang. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. So there we have it. 2-1. Thanks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, his manager will be delighted with him. He's been... This could square the game. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. This is dispiriting. So much of their good work could go down the drain. Penalty, chance for an equaliser and a red card. Oh, Derek, when you get your noses in front, consolidate. Don't make silly mistakes. They've made a big one there. Substitution time it is.
Once again, the sides are level. This is a kaleidoscope. 64 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Can they forge ahead? Still can be dangerous. Collins. And that puts them in position. And it's still on for him. And there is the goal! He's found the net! Joy unconfined! What a big moment in the dying embers. Collins. Uh, what can they produce on the flank? Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a second goal for Rochdale. Five minutes from me. This could be it. And it is. He's done it. Sure. Waiting for the ball to come to him. So the current scoreline, four opponents moving and guessing. Made into the box. The end product just wasn't there. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. in the centre it is a decent looking attack here can he take advantage and able to get a body in the way well there goes the final whistle no doubt the occasion tinged with a bit of disappointment amongst the players and fans they were hoping to see the title issue settled today they'll have to try again next time lee well Derek, you can imagine how much those tickets are exchanging hands for can't you with the way they played all season we lost four goals to two we could not seal the league title um they were better than though they they had eight shots we had five then landed four and uh, they landed five we landed four sorry they had the possession too but they were better we had a red card that was a joke leslie got a red card without touching the guy and it was an instant red card it wasn't too yellow it's just that was a joke um i'm a sore loser maybe but <clears throat> that was a joke um he still got red card and we we lost the game and i don't think it was because of the red card because we didn't play well even before we got sent off so they would have won anyway um so we'll take that defeat and, and just you know learn from it and, and, and try to you know get better um the thing is we still have more chances of course we, we played 39 out of 46 games so we have seven more games to play we have 13 points ahead of of uh, rochdale and we can see porter's been sold to fc voluntari so we're gonna wish him all the best um we can still use him the throughout the season because he's going in the preseason is, is leaving for them uh, but we're going to focus on our next game we're playing Morecambe we're playing them at home at the Boundary Park and they are sitting 18th and we're first so the odds are good we should win this one I mean weird things happen of course and we are about to bottle it I guess when it comes to having this huge gap uh, and closing up at the end of the season but we could do it if we win today and, and the other result goes our way a little, I guess we will see the the celebration. If not, there are going to be more chances. But we're playing with our blue. Uh, Morkham is playing in, in red shirts. And uh, we're playing at the Boundary Park, of course. And we're going to go with the first team. I will actually introduce them for once. Uh, we're going with Hoy and Gold. Left back is Lay. Smith and Cooper are central, defensive, no, central defenders. Sorry. Riley's a right back. We're gonna go with Drake and Clayton as central defensive midfielder. Saunders ahead of them as an attacking midfielder. We've got Adama left wing. Reich is a right wing, and our striker is Pratt. It's a good team. It's almost the best we got. Let's go, boys. Three points. Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football Thank and we're looking for forward to the game. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, Lee joined as always by former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. Morgan. And League Two action is what's on the menu coming up live. It's Oldham Athletic and they face Morecambe. And so the match is underway. 
I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's a goal for the home team. 14 minutes played, 1-0. Could be! Goalkeeper in charge of the... Has a go. Well, really... Crossing possibilities. It looks promising. Must be! And a goal! That will do it! They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. Prefer to be positive. Really good build-up and an easy finish. To make up, and perhaps this corner can assist them. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Cross could be useful. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that. 39 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. This could be the equaliser. Babo! No space for them here. Opportunity it is. And still danger here. Let's ace here. Can they keep it going? Could square the game, but the keeper has it. Aaron Wildig. That's a well struck pass. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Oh, he's found the net, and that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted, and just what they deserve. So, 2-0 now. Fifteen minutes remaining. Space and time for the cross. Can he convert? And it's in! This game very much back on as a contest. to revisit the goal well as they kick off again 2-1 the current state of affairs of we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here chance to do damage it's opening up for them and they've given him too much space. Determined defending. And that is the end of the story. Full time here and a frustrating day for the home supporters, especially considering their fine record here. Yeah, Derek, it's a bit of a shock, to be honest, that one. So dominant all season on their own patch. Maybe a bit of complacency crept in. The time you think you've mastered this game, that's the time you fall flat on your face. So we managed to lose this one at home against the 18th placed Markham. Two goes to one and even though we had eight shots, five land on target, they had three shots, two land, they scored on both. I can't say that we deserved a point. Maybe we did, but no, I can't say that. I think they actually won and we, we didn't play that well. Um, it was a best team that we can actually have on the paper with it with the injuries right now but yeah they didn't really they didn't do the job that's that's it could be also that I played bad trying to 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 managing them but let's let's not think about that let's let's blame it on the players because that's how we do <laughs> anyway and that was it that was the last game of this episode so episode 29 is actually when we can lift two silverwares we can lift the league title of League Two, and we can lift the Papa John Trophy silverware. So let's hope that happens in next episode. Then we can see two 
two celebrations. That would be beautiful to, to have. Anyway, let's focus on, on the next episode when it comes. Uh, this one is done. Episode 28 is over and I want to thank you guys for watching this one. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you leave a like and that if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Leave a comment, you know I will answer them. And um, I want you guys to take care and stay safe and stay healthy and get the D vitamins and all that good stuff so you, so you get stronger. Be good to each other, be kind to each other and walk good.